Hello all, welcome back to Cyber Creed. Today in this particular video, we are going to be doing something very interesting and very new. We will be fine tuning a model called Flux, which is an image generation model. And we will be fine tuning it so that it can generate images that are based on your own personal face data. So here are some of the examples. You can prompt it to make you as a Superman. You can simply prompt it to make you as an Iron Man. You can also prompt it to be inside any game, like let's say Assassin's Creed. So these are all the different type of things that you will be able to generate and this photo looks ultra realistic. So this is going to be a fun video where we will be seeing how we can actually fine tune a model and also make it usable on our own image data. So with that said, let's get this video started. So there are some prerequisites before starting this video. So you need to have some of your images, at least 15 images of yourself that will help you to fine tune your own images on this particular AI model. So here inside this folder, I have approx 22 to 24 different images of myself. And uh, this is not particularly my image, but it's one of my friend uh, image. So you can see his image uh, that might be funny, but these are the images that I have taken of him and images should be of different angle, different position, different time. So these are all the different images that I currently have. So first thing is the list of images that you should have. And once you have the list of images, you have to name those uh, images on your own particular model. So you have to basically name something like uh, the image of Saurabh. So here the name of that particular person is Saurabh. So I will call him Saurabh. So you have to basically name them. So in order to make it easier for you to name, I have already created a script that will browse through your folder, name all the files of, or the photos into that particular name and then you can basically change it. So here is the basically the script that I have written. Let me just open up this inter terminal. Let me open up my terminal. So CD uh, local send. And here uh, I will say nano name.py. And let me just zoom my terminal a bit. So here uh, is the script. So in this particular script, what you have to do, you have to do nothing but you have to basically change it to your name. So in this script, it is going to browse through all your full, uh, all the files or the image that are present into your directory and the image can be uh, JPG, JPEG. So it can be of any particular format and it is simply going to rename them to your own uh, particular name. So here, only one thing that you need to change is the name. So here, uh, earlier I trained it on my own image. So I have written my name as Aditya. So I will just simply rename it to Saurabh, S-A-U-R-A-B-H, Saurabh. So now with this, just a simple change and I will save this script and I will simply exit it. So you have to do nothing. You need to know nothing about the coding, but you have to just go to that file. Uh, you can use nano or you can use any text editor, even the notepad plus plus is going to work. And once you have made the changes of renaming the file to your own name, uh, it is going to work perfectly fine. And after renaming, you have to basically run the script Python. And here the name of the script is name.py and you have to make sure to put that Python file into your own image directory. And uh, let me just say name.py. It have completed and here you can see photo of Saurabh 1, photo of Saurabh 2 things like that. So here are the images like this, like this, in this particular format. And once you have these images ready, the next step is to basically zip these images because the place where we are going to be fine tuning it, uh, it is simply going to require it in a zip format. So I'll simply select all, uh, I'll just simply deselect the Python file and the log file that it was generated. And I will simply say compress. So it will compress all the images and I will just uh, simply name this as S-A-U-R-A-B-H. So now let's talk about the platform that we are going to be fine tuning our model. So this is the replicate website where we will be going to be fine tuning this particular model. And if you are not here, you have to just sign in. And here you can simply sign in using your GitHub account. And uh, you can authorize the uh, replicate uh using your github and i'll just say yes send email preferences uh you can use anything i will just say it does not matter why it's asking it's just for survey uh just say continue now here you are so for fine tuning the model this website basically provides you with the code with the gpu resources that's required to fine tune your model if you have very very good gaming PC like 4090, even with those PC requirements, you won't be able to fine tune this model. So that's the reason we will be using this website. 
and here you are going to be using at least 40 gigs of v uh, GPU so that's why we are going to use this website and I have a special link that will help you get a $10 credit on this website so you can fine-tune your model absolutely for free and you can keep generating on images also within that budget so and it will cost you approximately three to four dollars to fine-tune it on your own set and remaining uh, amount you can basically spend on using it to generate your own particular images and that's cool how it is and also uh, if you have good PC with 3050 or uh, above with 4 gigs of GPU and at least 16 gigs of RAM then you can download this model after fine tuning it and then you can keep on generating the images absolutely for free so you have to just fine tune the model and entire life you can keep on generating your images so I open this uh, secret link and here you can see you will be given $10 credit to run and fine tune the model so I will simply accept the credit and I would have $10 that I can simply use to fine tune my model so here you can say success you have been granted $10 credit so you don't even need to add your credit card how good it is so now you are basically ready to fine tune your own model now you have to basically go to this particular URL and here you can basically fine tune your model so we already have prepared everything so we have to select the destination of the model so we can say create a new model so create a new model you can name it anything so here is the name of the guy is Saurabh so I will simply say uh, flux underscore s a u r a b h Saurabh and here we can input the images so to input the image we can uh, simply click this and we can simply go to this zip file we can uh, drag it and put it here so this have basically uh, we uh, so now we have basically uploaded the file and here we have to set a trigger word so trigger word is the word that will be present in the prompt so that it basically knows uh, you have to generate on this particular person so this name is Saurabh so I will simply say S A U R A B H so this is a trigger word that will simply trigger uh, this tuning uh, data set and here uh, auto uh, auto caption prefix so I, will, I can simply say photo of Saurabh so here uh, for myself I basically use this two caption so you can basically in, uh, input in uh, multiple line so here uh, just to be better we, have, we can use two or three different sentences photo of Aitya or imagine Aditya so that you get more flexibility while writing the prompt so here I can say photo of S A U R A B H uh, Saurabh and here I will just simply say Saurabh so you can set the prefix uh, the suffix is not generally required and here comes the most important part what are the number of steps that you want it to be fine tuned on so you can just simply play with it but a sweet spot is going to be around 12 to 1300 so let it be random so you can choose from 1200 to 1500 anything in middle is okay so here uh, the quality is going to improve if you are going to provide much more uh, detailed information much more uh, of your photos so the more the photos the better the training is going to be and uh, leave the learning rate to what it is and here uh, you can simply create training and as soon as you click create training it will start uh, training your model So once uh, we have started the training process, you can uh, quickly see the photo of Saurabh, a young man wearing blue shirt, glasses, smiling, blah, blah, blah. So it will automatically first caption all those images and this training process will go on. And it will take roughly around 30 minutes. So we, can, we will simply meet after that. So now uh, the training is actually completed. Now let's close this and let's see. So here you can basically click here to download the weights and uh, this will be important if you want to run this model locally so if you want to run this model locally uh, you, you can basically ask me I will create a video showing how you can do that and if you want to just start get started with generating the image you can click on run and here you can basically write the prompt so if you say okay let me just photo photo of as a U R A B H as Superman flying in the air and click run so it will start generating the image on the cloud so you don't actually need to download it and I, and I think for most of the people you actually don't actually need to download the model you can just simply generate the thing here so here are some of the things aspect ratio you can basically select according to your need it contains all the different type of aspect ratio and here is the number of uh, output quality so you can increase or decrease the output quality and 
also here you can select the image format it can be jpg png or whatever uh, based on your particular requirement so here you can see saurabh sharma as a superman but actually he don't looks that good <laughs> it looks like just created with the photos of superman so i cannot control my laughter sorry for that but now i will show you how you can actually make it look something like a cool superman for that i actually have this particular prompt so here in this particular prompt uh, you have to make sure to replace wherever the name is aditya with saurav so i'll just simply select this select this paste it here so all things should be in this particular fashion and then you have to open up your chat gpt on chat gpt after this you can just simply press enter and it will uh, remember this particular thing and now you can just simply ask it a prompt and it will create better prompt for you so you can say as a u r a b h as superman flying in flying above new york city in with evening sunlight and the better you will provide it the information the better prompt it is simply going to generate and that will change the game so now let's simply copy this and write this particular prompt hope it does not look in this way and i have also changed the aspect ratio so let's see what is the image that is going to be generated for this sort of okay i have also pasted here is a redefined prompt i should not have pasted this imagine sort of i hope this prompt works but let's see and here are few more setting that you can apply you can uh, click on uh, where was it number of outputs so you can basically increase the number of outputs okay it have generated but let me just simply increase the number of output to 4 and okay now let's try to regenerate the image and one more important thing i would like to show you is that here is using the seed so with the same seed with the same prompt it will generate the same result most likely it's not 100% guaranteed but it will be most likely very very similar to whatever it has generated that's why here is the seed provided and if you want to use a seed you can simply enter the seed here that's just a side note so now i think uh, the training is about to be completed and here you can see this photo looks more like a real superman other than the chapri superman so yes uh, <clears throat> this is how you can basically fine tune your model and the quality of image is highly dependent on the quality of uh, photos that you actually provide and let's modify the prompt uh, sunlight and focus is on his face so uh, you have to basically play with the prompt to get a better look and of course the quality is simply going to also be uh, affected with uh, the training data you provide you can basically try with 30 or 40 or to 50 images and just keep the epochs between 1200 to 1500 for whatever you are going to get much more benefit you can basically select that and that's how you can keep playing off it and i have actually trained it on 35 data set and i would like to show you some of the results so this is one as an indian army uh, but uh, you can also train it on the flag so here is what i imagine using as iron man so here you can see how realistic my actual image looks like uh, so this is because i trained it from 30 to 35 images so you can basically see how many images that it's taking to generate much more better images so here am i I am as a Captain America holding the shield. Here is I am as a Hulk. Here is I am like a hacker, or things like that. So here is what I imagined as an Assassin's Creed. So uh, these are the different things that you can actually do with a fine-tuned model. And here you can see the sort of Sarma image as a Superman. So I think this looks much more closer to the realistic one. It even copies your hairstyle. 
so yes that's it for this video and i hope you learned something new and you enjoyed this video please make sure to subscribe to this channel and thanks for watching